Hi, I'm Brian Gatch. I'm here with Roderick McIver at his cabin in the Adirondack Woods. We're here to discuss the Heron Dance Limited Edition Art Journal. Roderick is the artist and founder of the Heron Dance Art Studio. So would you like to tell us a little bit about the journal that you're creating? Yeah, well, it's uh, it'll be 208 pages of uh, full color throughout, poems, excerpts from books, observations on life, reflections on life in the woods, my art, about half of the uh, half the pages will be art in full color, um, printed on the most beautiful paper that we can find, bound uh, by craftsmen. It'll come in a slip case, the 50 deluxe numbered uh, signed uh, deluxe copies will um, also be in a handmade clamshell box. So, and this is partially based on your daily e-journal that goes out every day to members of the Heron Dance Art Studio? Right. It's that th th those uh, poems, that writing in the e-journal uh, is the first draft of, uh, the, of, of the work. And you know, most of it I wrote uh, over the last year, and I've had time to reflect on it. So I'm revisiting it for the book, rewriting it, rethinking it, but essentially it's based on that. Okay. based on those um, based on those poems. He wanted to know why, and I told him, but he didn't think much of my answer. The trail isn't that straight, it's crooked, he said. The question I asked him he didn't care about. Enough to answer, had no opinion, I think, so he answered the question he thought I should have asked. Live in the magic, he said. Go to the places, times, beyond words. Live there, he said, and he left. I'm fascinated by mathematics and science and physics and how and why these, uh, why they work you know, and why uh, geometric patterns, um, spirals, the golden mean, the, uh, you know, the design or the, or the pattern of uh, a snail shell is so much like the pattern of a hurricane photographed from above is so much like the spiral galaxies that the Hubble Space Telescope has photographed, um, you know, which actually can be found in parrot beaks. Um, and I, I, you know, I'm, I'm fascinated by plants and how they interact with animals, you know, plants that give off chemical signals to predators of caterpillars, and those signals are only given off when a caterpillar, uh, starts to munch on a leaf. Suppo you know, apparently the secretions of the caterpillar s survival, or excuse me, uh, the caterpillar saliva, uh, trigger this chemical release by plants and uh, attract parasitic wasps who who feed on the uh, feed on the caterpillars. Um, you know, just the relationships of nature, I think, uh, point to the magnificence of life. And there's a beauty, there's a tragedy, there's a tragic beauty in a lot of this. But um, I mean, it just to me. Um, is about how beautiful and mysterious and amazing life is, and and the uh, the, the cohesive, harmonious, uh, and chaotic aspects of the universe, and how it all constantly interacts to create new, you know, galaxies and new um, life forms, and uh, yeah, so that whole thing fascinates me, and and I think about that, and I write about that in my journal, and it and it is a part of what, uh, of, of what uh, Heron Dance is about. And it's also just about paddling wild rivers, you know, it's just about uh, life in the natural world, life close to the beauty and mystery of nature, and uh, so much of it is hard to express in words, and uh, that's the role in this work of my painting. I founded Heron Dance 18 years ago, and we've received thousands of letters, emails, phone calls from people telling us how much the work has affected their lives. 
if it resonates with you we invite you to join us for the journey